Number one, don't state the price of your goods before they arrive. You know, sometimes when you check 1688 websites and you see the price of some products, you'll be like, wow, this is really cheap, right? And you'll be like, okay, you save the pictures, you post it on your status or you post it on your Instagram page. And when someone asks you, how much is the price? And you'll be like, okay, this is the amount in this place. Maybe shipping it will not even cost me up to this amount. And you don't even know how much shipping will cost you yet. So you went ahead and tell the customer the price you perceived should be okay for it. At the end of the day, when you are done ordering for your product and you check the shipping fee, you see that it is way high. And when the product finally arrives, so you see that the price is the, the price you were telling your customers is not even up to the shipping fee. So as a mini importer wait first you can save your picture you can save your images post it on your whatsapp status on your instagram but when a customer reaches out to you don't tell them the price yet okay just post them around until your goods arrive so that you calculate your expenses and know how much you can sell your customers that is number one good rule so the next common mistake you should not do as someone that just starting importation business meaning importation imported from china is you have to be sure of the shipping um method that you want to use be sure before you start ordering your product know the type of goods you want to order and choose the right shipping fee the type of goods you want to order will determine if you should go for air shipping or sea shipping sometimes some products when you order them and you choose air shipping you see that the cost of shipping will be even higher than the amount you use in purchasing your goods which at the end of the day you might be at loss so as a first as a beginner in importation business always consider the goods you want to ship to the shipping method that you want to use so i made this mistake the first time i imported from china I got some products and these products are heavy products and I was like whoa we just one week and my products will arrive I'll just choose air shipping lo and behold after calculating the shipping fee of my um, product it was costing I used 400,000 to order for products and shipping fee they were telling me 300 and something thousand yes 300 and something thousand so how on earth will I buy a product of 400,000 and use 300,000 plus to ship it it's not making sense though it's air shipping so you see some products deserve to be shipped by air and the next one deserves to be shipped the last one and the most important one is time timing if you want to let's say you want to sell your goods in december you have to and it depends on the type of goods you want to order you have to order as early as august or as early as october so that it will be able to arrive early enough if you're using sea shipping you know sea shipping takes two to three months before they arrive because sometimes when you order products and you check the shipping fee you check the air shipping and sea shipping and you see that the ship the sea shipping is cheaper and you'll be like let me go with sea, sea shipping and maybe you've you've collected money from some of your customers you see it will take longer time for that product to arrive so you have to you have to order earlier okay because if you want to sell goods in december if you order for your goods that you want to sell in december or november my dear or here's your case because december will pass november will, um january will come and possibly you might be getting your gifts by february which it is it is not rhyming right unless you want to go for air shipping air shipping sometimes it can take like two weeks or one week highest and you get your product so so but it depends on the product i want to i made that um, that mistake I wanted to sell my goods by December. Imagine me, I ordered my product on um, October. Um, so I ordered my product in October. So you see, October, November, December. You're not even sure if it will arrive. Although I used sea shipping, so that's why it will take that longer time. And 
can you imagine i have i've also collected money from some of my customers and i will have to keep updating them telling them to give me some time that my goods has not arrived yet and you know some customers some customers will not even take it funny so as someone that is just starting mini importation business these three these um three things keep it in mind and work with it and believe you me you'll be a happy importer from china if you learned something if you gained value from this video kindly subscribe if you have any question leave it at the comment section i'll see you in my next video bye